What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode, special edition Mars Shot Monday today. We are talking about SpaceX's Project Starlink and the company's ambitious plans to be a global internet service provider. In 2016, SpaceX unveiled plans to launch a network of 4,000 plus satellites that would travel around the world at low orbit and provide global internet to everywhere on the planet. Initially, I thought this was a side project, but a very fascinating one at that. But the more research I did into Project Starlink, I realized that this is actually going to be the building block that will generate the bulk of the revenue and profits needed that SpaceX will need to actually colonize Mars. Now, taking a quick step back, SpaceX is a company founded in 2002 by Elon Musk, also the founder and CEO of Tesla. Their goal is to make life multiplanetary by pioneering reusable rocket technology. Now, the company's reusable rocket technology is incredibly important for a couple reasons. Prior to SpaceX, the leader in launching rockets was the United Launch Alliance. This is a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin. The status quo and price for their launches was about $200 million per launch. Today, SpaceX is charging only about $60 million per launch. That's only one-third the cost that Boeing and Lockheed Martin are doing. And the biggest reason behind this is because SpaceX has made their rockets reusable. In 2017, they made tremendous progress on this. They launched it, landed it back down on a drone ship, and were able to reuse the rocket again. This is an incredible economic breakthrough in the entire rocket and space industry because prior to that, people would just launch a rocket once and then it would be blow up and be done. Now the entire cost structure is incredibly streamlined and instead of having to rebuild the rocket every time you want to do a launch, they can re-land it on the drone ship, refurbish it, and refuel it and then it's ready to go again. This incredible technology in the future, SpaceX thinks will allow them to drop the cost of a launch down from 60 million today down to 5 million in the future. Now this would be equivalent to 1 40th the cost of the United Launch Alliance. I also think it's funny to note that United Launch Alliance, Boeing and Lockheed Martin, previously had said that it was going to be impossible for SpaceX ever to pull this off. Well, of course, Elon Musk has proven the haters wrong. Now, back to Project Starlink. The reason why SpaceX is going to pull this off so much more efficiently and sooner than any other company is because they have dramatically lower costs for actually launching these satellites into the sky. The fact that their launch costs are so much lower means that they can get a much more rapid ROI on this internet service provider project. What's really fascinating is in a Wall Street Journal article published in early 2017, there was leaked documents and projected financials from SpaceX. This absolutely blew me away. If you'll take a look at this chart from the leaked financials, you'll note that SpaceX has its revenue from its project Starlink actually surpassing its overall launch revenue around 2021. Now, it's important to note that these projections were released in early 2016, so I'm not 100% sure that they're still accurate or what SpaceX is forecasting, but this is just to give you an idea of how big they think project Starlink can be. So, of course, I took this chart from the Wall Street Journal, tried to extrapolate the numbers the best I could, and create a chart for you guys to show you what SpaceX was projecting its Project Starlink revenue to be. As you can see, the numbers are insane. SpaceX is projecting, by my extrapolations here, about 300 million in the initial launch year of 2019, scaling to 32 billion in revenue by 2025. Now, something's missing here because originally SpaceX pitched this as a way to get everybody on the globe connected, people in hard to reach places. We're going to be able to now have internet. And while that's great and a really good thing for humanity, I'm also a little bit confused because, in theory, those are some of the poorest people on the planet. So, how are they going to be able to generate enough revenue for Tesla to be having $30 billion and fun colonization? of Mars. I think we're missing something here because I also read in another quote that not only is SpaceX planning to launch about 4,400 low orbit satellites at about 1,200 kilometers high, but they're also planning to launch another seven or 8,000 satellites at about 300 to 350 kilometers. This will enable fiber like speeds according to this article I found. So I don't think they're just going for the low hard to reach places. This is an internet service that in the future Elon Musk thinks is going to take a huge market share of global connectivity. In fact, in a speech he gave in 2015 at the opening of the employee headquarters facility in Seattle, Elon Musk goes on to talk about how he expects that over 50% of long distance internet will occur on the SpaceX Project Starlink in the long term, and about 10% of local communication and connectivity will occur on the Project Starlink. Now, this is because he still thinks that things like fiber and really high speed internet cables will be able to provide most of local connectivity about 90%. But he goes on to note that in space, photons can travel about 40 to 50% faster than in cables. And this means that it's far more efficient for long distance internet to be able to use Project Starlink. So in the future, he imagines a lot of consumers and businesses being built on the back of this. There's going to be several iterations and versions of Project Starlink. It's only going to get better and better as the years go on. Now, you might be asking, when is this going to launch? When are we planning on seeing 
seeing this? Well, initially it was planned that they were going to launch test satellites in 2017. That has now been pushed back to 2018. I don't think they're actually going to start being able to generate revenue from this in 2019, like these like these original financial projections show. But it looks like they're only a year or two delayed. So my best guess is they've only pushed back this chart to about starting in 2020 instead of 2019. Beyond this, on the chart that the Wall Street Journal showed, not only are they expecting incredible revenue from this internet service provider project, but they are expecting massive profits. It looks like when this hits scale, SpaceX is expecting it could be generating over $20 billion annually in operating income. Just to put things in perspective, in a late 2017 funding round, SpaceX was only valued about $21 or $22 billion, and they think they could get that much operating income by the time this project hits scale in about seven to eight years. And what's so insane about that is if the company actually gets anywhere close to that and even hits $10 billion in operating income, SpaceX is likely to see a value of several hundred billion dollars based on a pretty simple straightforward PE ratio about 20x. So now I want to open it up to you guys. You know, why is no one else trying to do this satellite internet service? Is the fact that they can do reusable rockets really the reason and the breakthrough for SpaceX here? Do you actually think they're going to be able to pull this off? And who is going to be buying this at the end of the day? You know, how does this rollout work? How do they market it? From my understanding, the speeds that these satellites can give are going to be a lot slower than things like Google Fiber, which I think are sort of the future of high-speed internet and the most lucrative dollars that are going to be spent on connectivity in the future. For Tesla to really be generating $30 billion plus in revenue from Starlink, they're going to need to capture some of that market. How do they pull that off? I don't know. I'm asking you guys. But I think this is an incredibly fascinating insight and sliver into the business model of SpaceX. I totally thought they were planning on getting to Mars by funding themselves through launches, but apparently that's not the plan at all. Project Starlink and global connectivity is going to be the backbone of them funding the colonization of Mars. Elon Musk even goes on to say that this is the same kind of network that he would use to provide internet on Mars and eventually a communication system between the Earth. The name Starlink sounds kind of futuristic and space agey, but this is going to be the internet of space and it will also work on earth so this is an incredibly exciting project love to know what you guys think the future of the internet project starlink it sounds like something out of star wars who knows this is hyper change special edition mars shot monday see you guys next time peace